A Fort Worth family wants answers about why their loved one was tased during a drug raid. Police say Jermaine Darden was resisting arrest in May of last year when he was tased twice by police. Darden died and his family claims tasing caused his death. Fox 4 Sean Rabb reports. The story starts with a rare look up close at Fort Worth SWAT and narcotics officer. Headed to the south side May 16, 2013 to serve a narcotics warrant at the rental home of Jermaine Darden. We contacted you because myself and my family feel that Jermaine's civil rights were taken away from him. Darden, 5 foot 8 and 340 pounds, suffered from obesity hypertensive cardiovascular disease and other illnesses died during his arrest by police. He was so obese that if he laid down, he couldn't breathe or he would stop breathing. Tyson says her brother slept on his knees, leaning over the arm of a sofa. Fort Worth Police Chief Jeff Halstead's decision that his officers wear video systems provide proof of what did and didn't happen. As officers make dynamic entry, Darden appears to be on his knees on a sofa, hands up. There are children and other adults inside the home. Two officers control all of them in one room. But officers seem to be struggling with Darden, who's not moving quickly to the floor. Officers are yelling commands at him as other police move through the house. Police pull Darden from the sofa to the floor, and the other suspects try to tell police Darden has difficulty breathing. He got asthma, man. He got asthma, man. Four officers wrestle with him to get him down and hands behind him, and then you hear the taser. The police yell for Darden to put his hands behind his back and then tase him a second time. Darden goes down, and officers strain to get his hands behind him, finally get both zip ties and handcuffs on the big man. Everyone in the house kept trying to explain He's not resisting arrest. He's just trying to get into a position where he can breathe. And no one was listening. After he's placed in a sitting position, one officer uses his leg as a backstop because Darden, who is not responding, does not sit up on his own. The medical examiner listed Jermaine Darden's cause of death as sudden cardiac death associated with his health issues and application of restraint. The report lists the manner of death as natural but also says he had synthetic marijuana in his system. And the medical examiner found there was no direct contribution of taser deployment to his death. Darden's sister disagrees. And this is no better than strapping him to an electric chair and flipping a switch. It's just that bad. And no one has the right to take somebody's life like that. No one should die like this. No one. So we asked the Fort Worth Police Department for a response today. We spoke to them several times by phone, and after visiting with the administration there, decided, Heather, not to talk. Okay. There's certain that litigation's coming in this case. Oh, sure. And has it started? I mean, look at this pile of documents. You got a DVD? Right. Now, we obtained this from the family. This is an idea of all the reports generated when someone dies in police custody. We obtained this from the family. They got it from a lawyer who, who they've retained, mm -hmm. and that law firm considering whether they're going to file a case. All right, so a couple of other things to look at, the first being drugs. Drugs found in the home? Yes, drugs found in the home, uh, marijuana, synthetic uh, marijuana as well, mm -hmm. and cocaine. Police say the cocaine belonged to Mr. Darden. All right, and talking about Mr. Darden, what's his past arrest right. record? Right, uh, going back to at least 2006, he's been arrested a couple of three times for possession of controlled substance with intent to deliver cocaine, mm -hmm. and he has done some prison time. His family says he's always been the one who mans, mans up and, and takes his punishment. Their argument is he was not resisting, and they say because he wasn't resisting, they don't believe that he should have been tased, and they say the tasing took his life. All right. I know you'll keep following it. Indeed. Sean, thank you. Okay.